Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I have so many exciting videos coming this year, vlogs. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys are subscribed. I wanna talk all things updates in my life for what I can give. I'll be dropping it all through this month. I'm gonna be posting every single week. That is my goal. We're gonna talk dating. We're gonna talk my new standards, setting boundaries, and then I wanna do another get ready with me about friendships too because I have been going, I've been going through it. The good, the bad, the ugly. I hope you guys like this makeup look. There's a lot of blush, okay? But it's flirty, it's fun, I think, maybe. Honestly, you could hate this, but shall we? <laughs> Let's get pretty because I do not feel pretty. I had a holly jolly Christmas and I'm breaking out from the wine, the cheese, the sugar, literally everything. I had a facial at VH Skin in Brentwood if you're in the LA area. I also go to Crystal Clear Skin, both amazing. Just clean my skin out so that I can heal, recover, and be on my way. Gonna take some niacinamide to help with my oily T-zone area. I'm just going to, you know. I wanted to take the time to just update you guys, but also use this time to update you guys on dating in the sense of having boundaries, standards, and kind of what I did when I was dating this end of summer, beginning of fall, compared to what I was doing in the winter, spring, and summer of last year. I also miss you guys. I miss sitting down, chatting with you guys, talking with you guys. You guys are my besties. I'm gonna start uploading every single week, vlogs, chat Chats. We're gonna talk a lot of stuff. So, my friend just introduced me to this primer, So Blown Clean Blurring Primer with Collagen. Sounds like all the things that I want my skin to be. I'm gonna put this in my T zone. It smells like oranges. And then I'm gonna take the Lumi Glotion. I really want my skin to glow and put it on and around my face. I wanna do a skincare video where I'm talking all things acne prone skin and how to like get rid of your acne, clean up your acne, clean up your face, dark spots, etc. So let me know if you want that. Also, all the products I'm using in this video will be linked below. Okay, nothing new here using the Hollywood Flawless Filter in medium four. I'm gonna take it around my head, around my head, my forehead, my cheekbones, and just anywhere I kind of wanna shine. The e.l.f. Glow Foundation is also really amazing and looks very similar to this. This is a very full coverage foundation. This is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation by Hourglass. I use a lot of Hourglass in my videos. I love Hourglass, Hourglass. Let me be in a campaign, girl. 2024 goals. <laughs> this is in 6.5. I'm just gonna take a little bit where I really need the coverage. I'm just gonna do around my nose. Nothing crazy. So I know you guys have a lot of questions. <laughs> if you don't know, now you shall know. My dad and I started a podcast and in the summertime when I was kind of over dating, I first of all had never tried a dating app. So I was only going on dates with people I had met in person. It's not that I had anything against a dating app. I just, I just didn't think it was for me. I really am an in-person type of girly. I don't like just meeting random new people. Not really my thing. Even like when people are like, you have to be my friend, be more, I, I'm kind of a weird loner in that sense. I'm not really like down to just meet new people that I have no idea and I've never met before. How I roll, it's freaking weird, trust me, I get it. I was just going on dates with people that were asking me out on dates that I had met in person at Coachella, out and about, just that I ran into in public, you know, I was asked out on a date and I thought they were cute and just, you know, my type of guy, I would go on a date with him. That wasn't working and if you guys wanna watch any of my vlogs from the summer, I really kinda go into detail about certain dates. I also did an episode about dating with my dad on the podcast. You you can totally listen to that. But then, end of summer, when I was kind of fed up and bored, my dad was like, well, I met my wife on Match.com. You should try a dating app and do it for 30 days. Get as many dates in as you can for the content. Give your analysis as a woman your age and what your thoughts are, your fresh mind, you've never done a dating app, like you should try this. So I was like, why not? Let's do it for the content. I need some spice in my life. Hourglass concealer and hourglass brush. I love to just like push in the concealer, you'll see. So essentially, I get on a dating app called Raya.
And honestly, people be like, oh, well, of course, Raya, you know, you're asking for it. Let's be honest, any dating app, I don't know. They all have their pros and cons. I instantly started just matching people. I'm like, ooh, this is fun. I've never been able to pick and choose my knight in shining armor. Yeah. I just start for the content and for the podcast and for my thesis statement, I'm ultimately going to conclude in a 30 day period. I just start setting up dates and I was like, you know what? Because I've never met these people, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to expect. I'm not gonna hold anybody on a pedestal. I'm just gonna go into it as retrieving information for my my podcast with my dad learning new information on the on the human brain and aka the male brain and just like how this stuff goes down so obviously i matched with people that i thought were cute my standard was i would converse with them maybe once or twice back like i go he goes i go he goes and then i go and then or i don't say anything until he initiates seeing me i'm not here to message hundreds of dudes on a dating app about nothing. I'm, I'm good, I don't need to be texting a trillion people back over small talk. Like small talk alone to me like kills me. That's just, again, me being weird. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm gonna set my under eye like this. So that was a boundary I knew I was going to set when I was getting on these dating apps. And I was cool with it because I was like, I got nothing to lose here, girl. I'm chilling. These guys are gonna act up next. Who's in line? Let's go swipe around here. I honestly looked at it as like a little game. Kind of is, because you don't know these people. They don't owe you anything. You don't owe them anything. You're just here to collect data. Let's do my little blush combo, okay? I'm gonna look really crazy for a hot second. Bear with me. These Claren lip oils, these go a long, long way. So be careful. So I'm gonna take this red one first, this like lighter red. I'm gonna just, it's like an orange actually. I just do this. Then I'm gonna take this deep color here. I'll, they're all linked down below. And I'm just gonna go over it. And just like up into like my brow. I also just think it gives like the glow back into your skin. It's so pretty. This is already gonna look so cute. You have to act fast with these because they leave like dots on your skin where you put it if you don't blend it out. It smells so good too. It's already looking so cute. So my first rule when I came to online dating, no expectations and one or two backs and forths, maybe three if they don't ask you out, next leave it, keep swiping. Fun times, little video game. I loved video games growing up. Second thing is when I would get on the date, I'm gonna go in and grab this bronzer. I'm gonna link the hourglass. It's like a three quadrant bronzer. It contains these colors in it. It's just such a pretty glow. So then when I would get a date, I would set them up throughout the week and I just line it up. My restriction on the date was two hours, two and a half hours max. Even if I'm having the best time, it one, provides you with an escape and an excuse if you're not having a good time, or the other, you're having a great time and so is he, and it just builds suspense to see each other for a second date, adds sensuality, mysteriousness, wanting something that you can't have, accessibility that's restricted, especially when it comes from like a guy and a girl. And you could say, oh, that's playing games. No, nope. honestly, I'm so busy. And even if I'm having a great time, I like to time frame things. And okay, you had your two hours of fun time, go home. It can happen again if he wants to see you again and you want to see him again. Or if you even want to see him again and if he wants to see you again. It just makes it fun and exciting and something to look forward to. Some of my friends who go on these eight to 12 hour first dates, girl, where's the longing to see you again, excitement. I'm not saying that they can't wanna see you again. I'm just saying you're, I don't know, you can't, telling your whole life story on a first date to me, I don't like personally. So that's my second rule. I will say with these two rules, I was able to fish out people real quick, see who was serious, see who wasn't. And even if they weren't serious and I got on the first date, I pretty much knew by the second date. The other thing is, I really wasn't kissing anyone, even that I met in person, maybe one time, two times, one time. I wasn't kissing them after the first date. I wasn't doing that. By the way, I'm taking these Kosas Nano Brow Pencils. They're so good. This is in the color black, black brown. I'm gonna take this. And I'm just gonna fill in any sparse areas. I dye my brows, so if you wanna see how I do that, 
I can post like a short. I've been posting a lot of YouTube shorts. If you guys like just like quick little tips and quick little videos to watch, definitely check out my shorts. I also do a lot of my TikTok as well. Different content as well. There's more on my TikTok for sure. Anyways, so I found by doing those two first rules when it came to dating, I was getting my answers a lot quicker, a lot faster, and... I don't know, I just was like, it was making me not put people on pedestals and just, I was having more fun with it. My first dating app date ever was with a guy and yeah, he, it wasn't like the perfect first date by any means, but I thought he was cute and I liked his job. It's, it's nothing in my field of work, nothing like that. We had really good conversation, super smart. And yeah, I didn't think anything of it. Actually, he, I offered to split the bill and he, basically I get more into that date on I tried a dating app in my podcast episodes. You can check that out if you want all the tea on that. Go, I'll link it down below. Essentially, I then, I left that date and I was like, if he doesn't text me, no big deal. I have a date the next night. So I went on a date the next night. I did hear from him and you know, that's that. When I did start dating somebody and just seeing someone exclusively, it brought up a lot of triggers I didn't know that I had. And that's one thing in dating. I think a lot of people, they date one guy, they go on a first date, they're like, they finally match with the guy who wants to take them out and then they put all their eggs in his basket. Don't do that, by the way. Do not put anyone on a pedestal because there's so many other things you have to fish through in this whole experience. Let's do my eyes. I'm gonna just like take my finger. This is the Better Than Chocolate Too Faced palette. It's brand new. I'm gonna take my finger in ooey gooey and I'm gonna just run it all over my eye. It's just like a really, really pretty sparkly color. It's nothing like too crazy. And then I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna run my finger in this color called I'm the Dessert. You already know the vibes, girl. Look how pretty this is. Okay, literally just use my finger for this. Easy, because I'll show you what I'm essentially going to do. This is this really hot pink cream called Magenta Magic. It's so pretty, it's by Nude Sticks. I'm just gonna go in a little bit with this and just like add some cream to my cheeks before I set it with powder. And I'm gonna bring it up. So now I have these three, don't hate me. I have these three Dior blushes, coral, rosewood, and pink. I'm gonna just implement all of these. I'm gonna start with rosewood and I'm gonna go in, this is my favorite brush, 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 blush brush. And I'm just going to go like here and then connect in, I'm just gonna connect like in my eye. Like that. This is really pink. This is really pigmented. I didn't even expect it to be this crazy. It's okay. Now I'm going to take the coral and I'm going to slide that underneath my eye. Like almost like I'm like adding it right here. I love that I was doing my brows and then I randomly stopped. I didn't even finish my brows. Let's finish my brows. This is the Bay Brow B line brow pencil. So anyways, so I started getting these triggers when I started being exclusive with somebody. I just started feeling like I wasn't going to ever be enough. I started overanalyzing their past. I just started to really doubt myself. And in turn, what I was doing was, I was wanting to find every single reason to leave. And that was my first like real, oof, you know? So at one point I actually tried leaving the relationship. I had just noticed some things like his following was a lot of girls and he was still like commenting on people's pictures. This was before we went exclusive. But then he was so sweet to me. So I was like, hmm, how is he being like such a boyfriend type of guy, but online he's being like kind of thirsty. Like that was so weird. But just being such a doll, like so sweet. So I remember this is what I did. And this is what you have to do in dating. You, you are the prize. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So when I saw that and then he was like, the only reason why I felt like I was able to say this was because he was like contacting me. He was like, when can I see you? Can I take you to the airport? 
being very much so wanting to take this to the next level. So I remember I was at the Beyonce concert and I had to leave the next morning. And he had texted me, he's like, I wanna take you to the airport tomorrow morning. I wanna see you before you go. And I had just found, I had just seen some photos he had liked and commented on that day. And we just had a really amazing date the night before. And basically I was like, no, I'm good. I got it, no worries, you're good. Cause he wasn't essentially doing anything wrong. It was just an ick to me, I didn't like it. Even if we weren't exclusive, cause he can do whatever he wants. I wasn't doing that being super single. And I know that there are guys out there that don't do that being super single. So I just was turned off. So I'm just gonna put some more blush right here. I'm really blushing this out, but you'll see why. I think it'll be cute in the long run. I wake up the next morning and he's like, hey, do you wanna take me up on my offer? You know, I can take you to the airport. So I was like, dude, this kid is on my ass and he's still being like a little thirsty online. I don't like that look. I don't want this vibe. It's next, but I really, I really liked him. Okay, so, I text him and I was like, hey, thank you so much for offering. You know, I'm totally good. By the way, I've been seeing you liking and commenting on people's pictures that kind of like more like really like raunchy photos on Instagram, not very tasteful or artsy wise, just straight up raunchy. I was just like, I've been seeing that. I don't even care if I'm, my, my friend found them and sent them to me, but I was like, I don't even care. I'm, I'm not gonna explain it. I was like, you know, you did nothing wrong. This is your style of dating, my style of dating different I'm just looking for someone who approaches dating kind of the way I do you know takes people on a date see if they connect and you know you move out not publicly putting stuff on the internet I, it's not really my thing I shortened it but I was like you know thank you so much for a great time but this isn't for me um, no hard feelings and I wish you all the best so he had immediately called me by the way benefit winning brow combo this is gonna be the fluff up brow wax I've been really loving a not laminated brow look, but a fluffier brow look. I just think it gives me more of like this cute youthful vibe. I don't know, maybe not. Um, I just think it looks like fresh. I have to cut them a little bit, but. And then I seal it in with the 24 hour brow setter. I'm just going to set it. Locks in. I also want to do a tiny little wing. I don't want anything too crazy, so I'm gonna take the Benefit Roller Liner in brown, and I'm going to just start doing the wing. Just a little one. Something so simple. So anyways, he calls me immediately. I was like, I don't want to hear any excuses at all. So he texts me this long thing and was like, Janelle, I haven't felt this way about a girl in a long time. I basically have been in the dating game for a year and a half and it just, it becomes robotic and a habit to me to just like go through, like, comment and just, you know, he's like, I didn't know where you stood. We've only been going on dates for three weeks and we just really had like our first real like intense passionate kiss. And he was like, there's no excuse for this. Like I'm embarrassed. I, I've been telling everyone about you, whatever. So I was like, okay, give me like 24 hours to process this and we can talk on the phone the next day. So basically in a 24 hour span, he removed like half of his following, cleaned up his Instagram. I did not ask for this and we had a conversation and it was just really sweet. And okay, I said a simple wing, but I'm making it a little thicker. So then from there I processed and he was just like, I sometimes have scared people away by moving too fast. I've lost people from moving too slow. I didn't know what to say. And honestly, it was a good conversation and he had showed me exactly what he was promising me. He like told me. So that was that date. There's more, like I said, in the podcast, but I more so wanted to use this get ready with me video to show you guys this makeup look, but also talk to you and hopefully maybe if you're going through anything like this, it can just provide clarity for you. I also recently found, I'm using this Fenty Beauty highlight. I'm going to just like make my skin glow. I want shimmer and you know what? Spray my face and you know, I want more like blush like here. So I'm gonna take just leftover blush and just kind of go like this. Just like rub it in. 100% tone this down. You do not need to be this extreme with it. Setting spray, soft focus setting spray by Hourglass. One of my favorites. It just is so light and so beautiful. So beautiful on the skin. Then I take this cookie highlighter. Are you ready for this? By Benefit. I just do this tip of my nose and then I just do 
I going to my cheeks? Lashes are gonna be great. Lash curler. This is my favorite lash curler. It's a velour lash curler. Magic. Don't sleep on this lash combination. A lot of these combinations are killer in this video, so make sure you paint it. Lash food, lash primer with collagen. I'm gonna continue talking. Also, I found that a lot of my girlfriends find themselves meeting a guy and then immediately they really like each other. They go exclusive, which is grand. And then they're together every single day. Where is the longing for you? Where is the want for you? Girl, men want to chase, they want to hunt, okay? They want to hunt. A manly man. Now, if you want something else, then that's fine. But if you want like a man, like a man, a man, he wants to hunt you. He wants to chase you down, girl. So when you're just giving yourself freely after like two, a week, two weeks, three weeks even, every day, honestly, I, even like three months in, four months in, five months in, no. Not until you're like really like in a committed relationship. And that's like commitment to me comes with time. It comes with proving yourself, trust. I'm like very hardcore that way though. By the way, are you guys seeing this mascara combo? Like this is the benefit there, real mascara. This is like the shit. It's so, it's so pretty. I love it. So if you are dating, okay, and some girls would be like, oh my gosh, like then he'll think I don't like him. Set your boundaries in the beginning of dating because then there won't be any confusion down the road. Like, oh, she suddenly doesn't like me. She's pulling away. There won't be any of that question. You girl, your time is so precious and you should use it as such. And just to just to give it away to a guy you recently met, don't, don't do that. And if you're like, oh, Jill, I have just like a boring job. Girl, get some hobbies, get a dance. You know what? I'll do dance class. I'm not the best at dance, but you know what? It gives me something to do. It makes me more adventurous. Get out there and try a new skill. Like my new skill this year that I'm going to be trying is skiing. So that's going to be a whole new thing. And it just adds to you as like a person. So, you know, look at this mascara. I, I'm obsessed with this. Sugar plum. You'll see where the plum comes in. I love this mascara. I literally love this mascara. Also my necklace is coming new Lorelei by G. I just redid the website. Check it out, it's my jewelry line. This is the MAC Plum Lip Liner. Sugar Fairy Plum Makeup Look, okay? I know people hate all these terms, okay? I think it's cute. So I'm gonna outline my lip. So what I would say in the beginning of a relationship or before you even start dating, whether you want something casual or a relationship, have your boundaries and set them right in the beginning. And if a guy, a guy will totally want to see you all day, every day and have access to you. He will try his hardest to get full access to you because that's, it's easy, right? They think they want easy, but if you want something to last and be sexy, mysterious kind of, it adds value to you because you're like not as accessible always. Being accessible always to someone that you just ish meet, they're gonna note that in the back of their head. And to me, it just can lower your worth in their eyes. And I know, I know you a bad bitch, okay? So I, for instance, with a guy, I went on a first date, okay? Really liked him, whatever, and on a next date. That same, that next day I heard from the guy I went on the first date with and we were talking, we texted. He set up a date for us on a Sunday to go on on a Thursday. So I heard from him that Sunday and then I didn't hear from him Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Heard from him the early afternoon on a Thursday. Hey, pick you up at six today for the museum? Mm-mm. No, if I don't hear from you 24 hours before a date, I'm assuming you're not going. And that's not me being petty or anything. People make plans. We live in a big city. We're all busy. We're all working. We're all doing the hustle. I'm gonna assume you, you got busy and you chose something better to do. And I'm not taking it personal because you don't even know me and you don't know how awesome I am because we only went on one date. So I don't even take it personal. So I was like, oh, he's whatever. So when he hit me up, I just basically said, I was like, oh, hey, I hope you're having a great week. I didn't hear from you, so I'm assuming, I was assuming the date, I'm putting more of this Clarins lip tint on. I'm doing the pink on the sides, I'm gonna do the red in the center. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be cute, it's gonna be cute. And then, this is the Too Faced Kissing Jelly Gloss. 
So basically I was like, oh, I didn't hear from you. You know, I just assumed you had other plans. I had other plans, I'm so sorry. And he was like, what? Oh my gosh, please assume that if I make a plan, I wouldn't ditch. I was like, well, I fair enough. I don't know you though. And I, I just, you know, I had other, I wanted to do other things if I didn't hear from you. Look at this, look at this gloss. It literally tastes like bubble gum too. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner eyes. He was like, okay, well, I hope you have a great night. And then we texted, he asked me how my day was. And then he set up another date and that's how it was. And then if a guy doesn't set up another date, good. Next, I don't have time for this. Listen, there are plenty of fish in the sea. We've all heard that. I don't need to wait around for a man to confirm or not. I, if I don't hear from you 24 hours in advance, I'm assuming it's, it's not going down. You won't catch me dead stealing a friend's man, a girl's man. Any girl that has a boyfriend, a guy they like, I just meet the girl. I have no idea who the girl is. He's with a girl at a bar, whatever. That's her man. I don't share. I don't wait around. I don't want to share with somebody else. Anyone that's associated with a man that is near me, around me, or I know about, like, that is not, I don't want that. It's not cute to me. It's not sexy. I have never been good with sharing. I don't like sharing. You won't catch me dead stealing anybody's man, taking anybody's man, flirting with anybody's man ever. I don't do that. So that's another little quick note too when you're dating and you're going out. If your friend likes a guy and you're meeting him and then he starts flirting and being weird with you, brush it off. Don't, don't, don't do that. There's so many people and options and I know sometimes it feels scarce out here, <laughs> but trust me, trust the process. I feel like that's like one of the best things like I ever did. I, you won't catch me dead with your man. I don't care who you are, I, I, no. And, and I hope you do the same for me. I, but girls, we all know. You know, watch your mouth. If you don't like me, that's fine. But, you know, watch your mouth. I'm putting some of this white highlighter on the, on my lid. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair a little bit so it doesn't look so crazy and we'll close out. But just for the girlies in the back, or for anyone that needs to hear this, you will find your person if you're patient, if you wait, if you set boundaries and standards for yourself. Like I said, even in a casual situationship, you will just find more respect and peace with yourself within that because I have tried a casual situationship, just one. But I didn't set boundaries and then when I did, I had so much more clarity. So I don't know, I, I feel like this video is kind of all over the place. I'm gonna link some of my podcasts with my dad down below because you guys get to see my dad's side and view things. And we're starting season two here in a few weeks. So that'll be really fun and good, but I'm gonna do my hair and sign out. I hope you guys like this flirty, pinky, plum sugar fairy girl makeup. Okay, listen, I don't have everything figured out. I am still very much so learning. I am evolving. I actually have written down on my to-do list tomorrow to call two therapists that people have rec recommended me because I have not tried therapy at all. I still have triggers and I still have trauma, things that hurt me and insecurities in myself. And you know, I I sit here today in the new year with so much hope for myself and my, my self growth. I hope you guys took away from this video some uplifting passion excitement for just learning and experiencing the human experience as an amazing person that even is able to experience this life 